the winds have finally laid low enough for me to get back out towards the jetties. I'm in Freeport. I'm gonna do some trolling if I can. It just depends. Uh, I thought we were gonna have like five mile an hour south southwest winds, but it seems like it's a little bit higher than that. So the uh, the swells they're not too bad right now, but that's because I'm protected by the south jetty over here. Uh, I'm gonna fish along these rocks for a little bit, make my way towards the very end, and hopefully we'll tie into some trout. Later on during the day, I'll start throwing a spoon, trolling a spoon, maybe a deep diver. I wanna start coming out here a lot more to see if I can tie into a jack and if I get lucky enough and that green water is close, I can pedal out that way, hit it, and then maybe possibly get a king. We'll see what happens. Right over here in this area, right by the little sign, the jetty marker, uh, that's where I was getting good bites. But I just saw a dolphin, so chances of me catching a fish is gonna be slim to none. With those guys around, man, oh man, them fish just run for the hills. I know we've got to get something before we head in. At least that's my plan right now. I mean, I'm in freaking last ditch effort mode. See, we can start seeing these marks that we had earlier before going towards the north, north jetty. Yes, we got them. We got them. It's a freaking ladyfish. I don't want to lose this lure, so. Okay. These guys are slimy as all heck. And then the last time I had one of these, it was in the net and still managed to hop out. There we go. Our lure off. That's our version of the tarpon over here. <laughs> you catch you a big one like that. Yeah, boy, look how shiny they are. Get out of here. You're dolphin food now, buddy. You better catch your breath. Ah, uh, it just took off. Let's say it'll be dolphin food. It wore that leader out. We're gonna have to retie. So uh, let's pause the camera, retie, and we'll get right back at it. For those of y'all wondering how deep it is at the end of the south jetty in Freeport, it is 25, 26 feet deep. All right, come on. Let's go, fishies. Let's get a speck to bite. I knew by downsizing to this smaller spoon that I was gonna catch fish. You know, they were short biting my hoagies, ripping it up. And when I went to the north side, well, I didn't really get much of anything. But over here, I was like, well, let's put the tiny little spoon on. Whatever short biting, if it's a small guy, well, then we'll catch him just like this, one after another. But this, this thing feels a little bit heavier. What is it? What do we got? Oh, look at this, we got a smack. But we didn't uh, hook them like legit. <laughs> At least we see a smack though. I know they're out here. All right, son, hold on. Boy, the dolphins would love to get you. Oh, ha, ha, ha. yeah. Oh, that's a trout, baby. That is a keeper trout right there. Oh, look at that. That is keeper number one. Oh, son, you done messed up, bruh. You bit the wrong line, son. Gonna go ahead and measure this fella. 17 incher with a pinched tail. Let's get our hook out. We'll throw this guy on a stringer. There we go. Nice size eater trout right here, baby. Don't need the real big ones. Just something to uh, put in the fry pan. That's it. 
That's what we've been waiting on for the longest time. So uh, that was a very erratic retrieve that I did. We're gonna keep testing that out and see if it works. Yeah, there we are. So that retrieve is working. There we go. Look at that rod bin, baby. This guy is digging. Not want to come up. Another speck. I'm not too sure if he's gonna make it. We'll uh, we'll check it out. We'll get this guy and see if uh, he'll measure. Just shy. With a pinch tail, he makes it. But I'm not gonna chance it. 15 inches. We'll let this guy get a little bit bigger. Beautiful fish though. There we go, we got him. We got the little speckled trout. I think this guy's gonna be a keeper. He should make it. Come on. Don't get hung up in my line. Man, this guy's really digging. All right. <laughs> we got a croaker on our hands. All right. Let's get the pliers. Man, this these little spoons, they are money. They will catch all kinds of things. I think he's a short. He's a fat short, too. Look how lucky this guy is. Pinch tail, he makes 15 inches. That's two of them that's that same size. Lucky, buddy. You're so lucky. Eventually, we're going to get something that's going to be a little bit bigger. That's 16 inches, 17 inches. Those are the perfect eater size right there. Oh, we got this guy. I don't know what he is, but he started going crazy. He's not going to be a big thing. It's a mackerel. Man, how is it that we're like snagging them though? Like serious. Just s straight up snagging these guys instead of like getting them in the mouth. I don't know. I mean, I know they hit with like really fast speed. All right, bird bait, dolphin bait. There we go. We got that guy. He doesn't feel big. Oh, finally got one the right way. Check that out. Spanish mackerel. In the mouth. We got you, fella. That is a... Whoa. I was going to say, that is a beautiful fish. Thank goodness I didn't put that up to my face because... If he was to fling that darn lure off, it's gonna get me good. Boy, look at them chompers. I'm gonna show y'all this fish really quick. Look at them chompers he's got. Man, those things are sharp. All right, PO box. And this is our very first package. <laughs> There's the first time for everything, right? So it was really hot out there today. The sun did me in and man, oh man, I was like a freaking slug trying to come back in. But got home and took care of a little bit of the packing and stuff like that for uh, some stickers and a vinyl that I just sold. Dropped that off at the post office and Y'all saw that I got my very first package ever to the P.O. box. So we're going to open this thing up. See what we got going on. It sounds like a lure. Oh, look at this. That is a beautiful color. Look at that. Awesome. We've got some stainless round bin treble hooks. It's perfect for the salt. I am a sucker for bone 
and that's like a bone on the bottom and then like the bone color and then the top chartreuse on the back these are some beautiful top waters right here mark thanks for trying my lures thanks again mike adams well i mean check this out mike adams thank you so much buddy these are custom uh, lures top waters they look like the spook juniors and uh, just awesome paint job that Mike did. Thank you so much, Mike. I'm definitely gonna put these things to good use out there inside the marsh. And uh, with that being said, uh, I'm pretty much done for the day. But uh, before ending, I do need to give a special shout out to my newest patron, Joseph Price. Thank you so much, buddy, for believing in me and donating to a good cause that will allow me to take the channel to bigger and better heights. I really appreciate that love and support. So to each and every one of you, if you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up. And until next time, tight lines. All right, so as I was throwing all the packaging away, I noticed that there was another lure inside the box. Check this one out. It looks like a, a cotton candy style paint job but man these things are so freaking awesome mike thanks a lot brother i really appreciate these uh the next video that i'm going to do is going to be top water only so when i go into the marsh i'm not too sure which one i'm going to hit up possibly freeport because i haven't been there in a long time or maybe go back out to christmas bay but i'm going to try to find some reds to pick a fight with and the rod and reel setups that's all i'm going to use are these top waters right here and uh, we'll see just how good they are whenever fighting a red with them